to convert one voltage level into another voltage level we have the transformers right if a transformer converts 12 volts into 24 volts means it can increase the voltage then it is known as step up transformer right if the transformer converts high voltage into low voltage if it convert 24 voltage into 12 volts it is known as step down transformer transformer name indicates step up and step down name that indicates only voltage here okay that name is depending on the voltage only okay now voltage only what about current so we know the formula power is equal to voltage into current current is direct indirectly proportional to voltage right means if you increase the current voltage is decreasing here step up transformer means it can increase the voltage 12 to 24 and it is also known as voltage step up transformer means here we can increasing the voltage and it is also known as current step down transformer why why because if you increase the voltage current will be decreasing because they are inversely proportional to each if voltage increasing current is decreasing that's why in step up transformer current is decreasing it is also known as current step down transformer and voltage step up transformer okay as well as here also step down transformer means voltage is decreasing from 24 to 12 and current is increasing it is also known as voltage step down transformer and current step up transformer okay depending on the voltage it is the step down only but depending on the current it is step up current transformer okay but if you take any transformer they works in ac only in alternate current only what about DC? Transformers can't work in DC. Okay, it works in only AC. Coming to the DC, for example, I'm taking the source as battery. Okay, DC source as a battery. So batteries have fixed voltage, right? They have the fixed voltage like 5 volts, 10 volts, like that. But when coming to the loads, DC loads, some loads want 2 volts DC and some other uh, loads want 10 volts DC. So here also like transformer, we need to decrease the voltage and we need to increase the voltage. Okay. But transformers does not allow DC. That's why we need to discover new device that is nothing but the choppers. Okay. Here choppers are, it can convert DC, fixed DC to variable DC. Okay. That is nothing but the choppers. Like transformers in choppers also, we have two types of choppers that is nothing but the boost converters and then buck converters so this name indicates boost means depending on voltage only okay depending on voltage only if you want to increase 12 volts to 24 volts that is known as boost converter because here we are boosting the voltage means we are increasing the voltage that's why this name indicates boost converter so coming to the buck converter it is depending on also voltage only if you want to convert 24 volts into 12 volts dc so means here you are decreasing the voltage so decreasing means buck okay that's why this name indicates the buck converter so these two names also depending on the like transformer here also we are depending on voltage only okay what about current if you increase the voltage current also decrease right so if you increase the voltage current will be decreasing so here it is known as voltage boost converter so when coming to the current it is a current buck converter why it is current buck converter because here voltage is increasing so current will be reducing that's why it is known as current buck converter when coming to the buck converter this is the voltage buck converter right depending on the voltage it is a voltage buck converter depending on the current it is the current boost converter why because if you decrease the voltage current will be increasing right that's why it is known as the current boost converter and these boost converters have another name that is nothing but the step up dc converter okay like this buck converter have another name that is nothing but the step down dc converter depending on the voltage we are denoting this okay step up and step down okay when coming to the current what will happen this is also known as current step down dc converter so this is also current step up dc converter depending on the voltage and depending on the current we writing these names okay in general purpose we are taking depending on voltage only okay that's why it is known as the boost converter and it is a buck converter okay now let's go into the how chopper works first of all let me discuss about the buck converter so buck converter means it name indicates the voltage right so buck converter means it is the voltage buck converter i already told you right okay for example i am taking the 10 volts dc as the input okay 
is um, this is i am taking the 10 volts input here buck means we need to reduce the input okay so i am taking the input is 10 volts but we need a output is 5 volts that is the buck operation right so buck means we need to decrease the voltage here i am taking the input as 10 volts in output i need a 5 volts okay so how we will convert 10 volts to 5 volts dc okay for that purpose i am assuming the continuously give 10 volts and 0 volts okay then where to get the average voltage if you give 10 volts okay and then 0 volts and 10 volts and 0 volts and 10 volts and 0 volts, 0 volts what will happen if you take the average of these two 10 plus 0 by 2 is equal to 5 right so we will get the average voltage as 5 volts okay so for that purpose we will continuously on and off on and off on and off if we on the input source then what we will get we will get the input voltage 10 volts if you off the input source then we will get the zero voltage okay again on again off again on again off so if you do like this then we will get the average voltage is 5 volts okay but it is a not a exact dc okay dc means straight lines right but we have the so much of ripple factor here okay so we need to decrease this ripple factor okay here we have two things to convert 10 volts to 5 volts first of all we need a 10 volts and half 10 volts and half nothing but the 0 volts okay 10 volts and 0 volts 10 volts and 0 volts like this to on and off to on and off we have the power electronic switches right if you use the power electronic switches then if the switch is on then we will get the 10 volts if switch is off we will get the 0 volts so we need a power electronic switch okay and we already know input as a dc so i am taking vss 10 volts dc okay so after that what we have by using the input to the power electron switch we only get 10 volts and 0 volts and 10 volts is and 0 volts here average is 5 volts so that average voltage have so much of ripple content here okay but dc means straight line right but in output we are getting the pulses not straight line okay that means we have the so much of ripple content okay to decrease this ripple content we need to add a passive filter to the our circuit so by using passive filter you can decrease this pulses nothing but the, you can decrease this ripple factor then if you use any passive filter like inductor and capacitor then your waveform will be like this charge discharge charge discharge charge discharge charge discharge so like this output will become it is nearer to dc right when compared to these pulses it is nearer to dc means we have the small ripple content okay that's why we will take the passive filter okay no need to buy heart any circuit okay just observe this process then you can easily connect the circuit okay first of all buck means what we need to decrease the voltage for example i am taking input dc as 10 volts i want a 5 volts dc so for that purpose i am continuously give the output to the 10 volts and 0 volts 10 volts and 0 volts then what will get i am getting the average voltage is 5 volts so i am taking the input is 10 volts we are getting the output average voltage is 5 volts okay but that average voltage have the so much of ripple content so we need to decrease this ripple content by using the passive filter to turn on and turn off like this we need a power electronic switch that's it that is the circuit we have and we connected to the load rl okay this is the circuit we have let's see little bit closer i am redraw this diagram as like this okay here i am taking the same input dc vs okay but i am replacing this power electronic switch with one double pole switch through switch through switch okay this is the double pole switch through it has the two points okay point one and point two okay and i am also taking the one passive filter as inductor l this is the i am taking the passive filter as inductor so i am taking the same rl load resistance load rl okay so here the point is depending on the this switch if p is point p is connected to the point one nothing but the switch is connected to the point one what will happen what will happen if this two is short circuit current will be flow from source to switch and then output through inductor right so current flow will be like this okay and it is written part to the input here this is the open circuit no current is flowing in direction okay in this direction okay only current is flowing from the input and this point one and load through inductor l okay if you apply kvl to this this circuit what, what will happen we get the input voltage is equal to inductor across the voltage and output voltage that is right okay when only p is connected to point one okay next point of view i'm connecting the point ps2 okay p2 i'm connecting the point p2 2 
here this is the open circuit means it is off condition okay no current is flowing through this okay only current is flowing from switch 2 to inductor and resistance load rl okay only this is the current flow okay no input is connected to the output okay so if you apply kvl to this circuit what will happen current flow from the switch 2 and then inductor and then load and then switch again this is the circuit here we are getting okay so when off condition what will get only what is the input stored in the inductor that will go to the load right when when switch is off condition when switch is on condition we get the input voltage is equal to inductor voltage plus resistance voltage this is the on condition this is the off condition okay so now again i am writing this diagram as this just i am taking the here we are taking double pole switch through right i am con uh, i am converting this double pole switch through into two switches nothing but the switch s and switch d nothing but the diode why because if we on this switch we need to turn off this one when this is on current is flowing through this okay so then it is a reverse bias because it is it's going to negative it is going to positive it is reverse bias that's why it is automatically off that's why i'm taking here this is the switch this is the diode okay that's why i'm taking these two switches yes. one is switch s yes, and another one is diode d and it is connected to the same inductor same resistance load as well as the before so this is the our main buck circuit okay buck converter okay now let observe these equations when switch is on we get the vs is equal to v l plus v naught okay i am rewriting this as voltage across inductor is equal to vs minus v naught right we know voltage across inductor is nothing but the l into di by dt that is equal to vs by v naught i am taking di as change in current okay that is equal to vs by v naught by l into i am taking dt as t on why because here switch is on right if you take the output of this one what we get we get the positive input when when switch is on we get the negative when switch is off again on again off again on again off here this is the t on time and this is the t off time so in t on time we get the equation as this one that's why i'm taking here t s t on okay now we can go to switches off condition we get the vl is equal to v naught right i'm rewriting here voltage across inductor as again di by dt that is equal to v naught here i'm taking the dis change in current and that is equal to v naught by l into and again we get the dt is what here switches off condition off condition we get the t off that's why i'm taking the the t s t off nothing but the off time okay now let it be equation 1 and this will be equation 2 if you equal this 1 and 2 what will happen 1 is equal to what will happen we get the vs by v naught of l into t on and that is equal to equation 2 is what v v naught by l into t of that's it right this both l's are cancelled and what we get we get the vs minus v naught by v naught is equal to t of by t on that's it right and i can rewrite this as v naught by vs by v naught minus 1 that is equal to t of by t on and i again rewrite this one to vs by v naught is equal to t of by t on into t on plus 1 right now i am getting this one as v naught vs by v naught is equal to t of plus t on divided by t on that's it okay now i again rewrite this as v naught is equal to i am taking v naught this side and i am taking this one to this side okay v naught is equal to v s into t on by t of plus t on so we already know this t on by t of plus t on is equal to nothing but the duty cycle duty cycle is equal to d the d is equal to we know t on by total time period here total time period means t on plus t off so finally we get the v naught is equal to d into v s here d is nothing but duty cycle okay that is the t on by total time so this is the output expression for our buck converter for example i am giving the input as 10 volts i am taking the switch duty cycle is 0.5 what will happen v naught is equal to i am taking the 0.5 duty cycle in time get taking the input voltage as 10 volts so what we'll get v naught is equal to 5 volts right this is how we are decreasing the voltage from 10 volts into 5 volts that is the buck operation don't forget our duty cycle must be less than one only okay less than one only then only we can able to decrease the voltage from 10 to any any value okay for example if you take d is to 0 0.25 and vs is same what will happen v naught is equal to 0 0.25 into 10 that is equal to 2.5 volts we, we get this is the how we converting the high voltage into low voltage that is the buck converter operation if you clearly observe the buck converter this is the vs we are taking we are giving the 10 volts and we are getting the output voltage 5 volts right so this input voltage is nothing but the higher voltage right and 
here this output voltage is nothing but the lower voltage right you can give it as high voltage and high voltage side and this is the low voltage side so for example if you take this inductor and resistance as current sink okay you can take this as current sink then your circuit will be like this right on current sink like this okay here I'm taking the high voltage and here you can take the low voltage this is the one double pole switch through okay point one and point two okay so here in buck converter input is high voltage and output is low voltage okay but if you take the boost converter what will happen in boost converter our input will be lower than the output right so if you take the input is 10 volts we want to get the output as 20 volts means input is low voltage and high uh, output is high voltage set so if you clearly observe this one in buck converter we are taking the high voltage as input and i am taking the low voltage as output okay if you replace this low voltage as high voltage and high voltage as low voltage then you can get the boost converter that's it no need to buy at any circuit okay just take low voltage side to this side and higher voltage side to this side then you can get the boost converter right that's why i'm taking the low voltage is input high voltage is output okay now just replace the this inductor circuit nothing but the current sink as input because it is the lower voltage side right this lower voltage side will be input of the boost converter now i am designing the boost converter circuit in boost converter we have the low voltage as input this inductor has the input okay so that's why i'm taking the source does not change we have that same source nothing but the vs and here i am taking the inductor because in buck converter lower voltage side have the inductor but in boost converter we have the lower voltage side as input okay that's why i'm taking inductor to the input and again i'm taking the circuit here okay circuit just i'm giving to the load rl load does not change okay this is the boost converter circuit okay for passive filter purpose i'm taking the one simple capacitor to reduce use the ripple content okay here also in boost converter we have the inductor right nothing but the l and here also we have the double pole switch through right and we have the passive filter also if i redraw this circuit as this one okay i'm taking the input and then inductor and then i take that this double pole switch through to two switches okay like what we have in the buck converter so i am rewriting this as one switch diode and then i am taking the switch yes i am converting this to one simple capacitor and then i giving it to load rl rl this is c this is l this is source input and this is switch s and this is diode d this is the complete circuit of our boost converter no need to buy hard this will be come from this one okay here just i am replacing this double pole switch through to two switches like what we have in the buck converter okay why because i am taking this okay if this switch is on we need to off this one if this diode is on we need to off this one that's why i am taking this circuit okay when coming to equations what we have when switch is on nothing but the switch is on what will happen if switch is on here diode is off condition right here no current is flowing through this one only current is flowing like this okay from input and go to the inductor and switch and this is closed circuit like this if you apply kvl to this one what will happen here input voltage is equal to voltage of the inductor right this all voltage is stored in the inductor that is the on condition okay if you take the t off condition nothing but the switch is off condition switch off condition means what diode is on condition right here this is the open circuit all current is flowing from inductor and diode and then capacitor to the load that's it okay this is the closed part like this okay if you apply kvl to this one what will happen we get the v not is equal to what vs plus vl right we are getting the output voltage is equal to what we stored in the inductor and what we have in the input so if you apply kvl to this circuit then we will get the v not is equal to vs plus vl okay now if you take these two equations we need to observe vl is equal to nothing but the l into di by dt what we get in the boost buck and water okay that is equal to vs right i am taking the here i am again taking the dis change in current is equal to vs by l into dts t on why because here i am taking the on condition okay coming to off condition i am taking again v not is equal to vs plus vls l into di by dt i am again taking dis change in current that is equal to v not minus vs by l into i am taking dt nothing but the time as t of because this is the switch is off condition if you equal this one and two equations what will get from equation one we will get vs by l into t on from equation two we will get v not minus vs by l into t of 
that's it if you cancel these two s we get the and you will get the vs into t on plus vs into t of that is equal to v naught of t of that's it right you take the common vs we get the t on plus t of that is equal to v naught into t of right so now we want the output right so v naught is equal to vs into t on plus t of divided by t of and we already know duty cycle d is equal to what t on by t on plus t of right nothing but the total time if you add before 1 minus what will happen t on plus t of minus t on that is divided by t on plus t of right so here t on t on cancel that is equal to t of by t on plus t of that is this one right so here this is nothing but the 1 minus d so i am just adding 1 minus right so 1 minus d that is equal to v naught is equal to vs into 1 by 1 minus t because these two are denominator and nominator are reverse so that v naught is equal to vs by 1 minus d this is the our boost circuit output expression if i for example i am taking the input is 10 volts what will happen v naught is equal to vs is 10 volts okay i am taking vs is 10 volts 10 by i am taking duty cycle is 0.5 10 by 0.5 10 by 0.5 how much 20 volts right this is how we converting 10 volts input to the 20 volts output this is the boost converter operation okay if you want to design this buck and boost converters practically i will provide the link in description of how we can convert the buck and boost converters using matlab symlink so if you want to know you can watch it